Hello, folks. So do you want to know what it takes to be a pen tester and doing an external penetration test today? So we're going to go over five steps with you in this little short. And the first thing we're going to do is step number one is reconnaissance. We want to map our external footprint. We want to see what domains, subdomains, DNS, public facing information that we can gather and utilize against our target for this engagement. Number two, when we have all of our stuff, we want to start scanning. We want to see if there's external ports, external services. Maybe that's possibly exploitable. Maybe there's outdated versions or misconfigurations on those services at the client site. Number three, if we're doing any web testing against our external perimeter, if we found a login portal, if we find an API, we just want to maybe test for authentication problems. We want to maybe check for input bugs, right? And maybe just a misconfiguration overall. Just Testing, all that stuff is important. Number four here is validate safety. What does this mean? We want to validate responsibly, verify the critical findings, but we don't want to cause real damage to the client, right? We just want to have a proof of concept, and not destruction, because that's going to be a bad day for everyone. And number five, what is the most important and the most annoying thing? Report. But the cool thing is we can tell them how to remediate. So we want to deliver clear findings and tell them how to fix those findings if we know how to, right? We know the impact. We know the, the steps that we need to take to clear up those vulnerabilities. Maybe exact fixes. We can give them URLs to, you know, maybe patch a vulnerability and all that good stuff. But that's pretty much it. You want to prioritize the riskiest issues first. So if any highs or criticals, we want to make sure we tackle those first. So hopefully it's been informative for you folks. If there's anything that I missed that you do, leave it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.